The Doomsday Plane is an unofficial denomination of a class of aircraft which is used as an airborne command post in an event of nuclear war, disaster, or other large-scale conflict which threatens key military and government infrastructure. There are only a few countries that have designed and manufactured such aircraft, namely United States and Russia. The Boeing E-4 Advanced Airborne Command Post, the current Night Watch aircraft, is a strategic command and control military aircraft operated by the United States Air Force. The name Night Watch originates from the richly detailed Rembrandt painting, The Night Watch, that depicts local townsfolk protecting a town, it was selected by the squadron's first commanding officer. The E-4 series was specially modified from the Boeing 747-200B for the National Emergency Airborne Command Post Program NIE. The E-4 serves as a survivable mobile command post for the National Command Authority, namely the President of the United States, the Secretary of Defense, and successors. The four E-4BS are operated by the 1st Airborne Command and Control Squadron of the 595th Command and Control Group located at Offutt Air Force Base, near Omaha, Nebraska. An E-4B, when in action, is denoted a National Airborne Operations Center NAOC. With the adoption of two highly modified Boeing 747-200BS, Air Force designation VC-25A, to serve as Air Force One in 1989 and the end of the Cold War, the need for NEEK diminished. In 1994, NEEK began to be known as NAOC, and it took on a new responsibility, ferrying Federal Emergency Management Agency crews to natural disaster sites and serving as a temporary command post on the ground until facilities could be built on site. The E-4B is designed to survive an electromagnetic pulse EMP, with systems intact. Although many older aircraft have been upgraded with glass cockpits, the E-4B still uses traditional analog flight instruments, as they are less susceptible to damage from an EMP blast. The E-4B is capable of operating with a crew up to 112 people including flight and mission personnel, the largest crew of any aircraft in U.S. Air Force history. With in-flight aerial refueling it is capable of remaining airborne for a considerable period, limited only by consumption of the engine's lubricants. In a test flight for endurance, the aircraft remained airborne and fully operational for 35.4 hours, however it was designed to remain airborne for a full week in the event of an emergency. It takes two fully loaded KC-135 tankers to fully refuel an E-4B. The E-4B has three operational decks, upper, middle, and lower. And now, let's watch final approach of these impressive machine to runway 05 at Zagreb Airport in Croatia, on July 12, 2018. 